Hello everyone. Today we are going to show you how to set up the GStack app for Valorant Custom HUD. Hello everyone. First download the application from the description link. After downloading open the application and it will show you this interface. Now select a location where you want to install and save the application files. Then hit the Extract button. Now go to the folder where you extract files. You will see these three files. Now right click on the gslanature.exe file, hit Run as Administrator, and wait until you show these two pop up. Then hit the OK button in all pop ups. Note that you have to run gslanature.exe file, always run as Administrator. The app will run automatically and wait until it creates a VHUD folder in the directory. After creating the folder in the directory it will automatically download all the assets. Wait until the download is completed. After completing the download two pop-ups will show. Hit the OK buttons. Now it will show the login interface. If you have a user account, enter your username and password then press continue. Or if you have a serial key look at the top left on the application. You will see the serial key option, press on that. Now enter the serial that we provide you, and press continue. Allow the vhud.exe permission pop-up. Then it will take you to the main interface. Now coming to the important part, you will need a secondary PC to run the GStack HUD. I'll show you why the secondary PC is needed. In the application menu, you will see the Match Tools option. Click on that. Then click on the Select Profile option and select HUD 2024. You can also see there are so many HUD overlay options. Now enter the team names and logos on both sides. Then press set values. There is also an option for swapping logos and teams. With this option, you can easily swipe team names and logos. After pressing set values then go to menu option and hit enter generate console. By clicking. To generate console it will create a JS file into the vhud folder. Now open the file with notepad or in another application. Now you can see an IP address in port. Just copy the IP. Go to a browser and paste the IP you copied in in the end, write slash HUD 2024 slash. Now you will see the HUD overlay. To use the overlay on the second PC, where you will run OBS to stream, you have to download and install Radmin VPN on both PC. Now open the Radmin VPN application on the PC where you're gonna use GStack HUD. Now create a network, give a unique name and password. After creating a network, let's go to the second PC from where I am going to stream. This is my second PC's screen record. Now open Radmin and join the network you have created. Enter the name and password you give. After joining the network you will see that your IP address has been changed. So, now we have to generate the console file again. Go to the folder and delete the previous JS file. 
Now go to the folder and open the JS file, we will see that our new IP address is showing here. Put these files on the profile that you want. I am pasting the file in HUD 2024 and HUD scoreboard. Now copy the IP address and paste it on OBS or in the browser as your IP address slash HUD 2024. You will see the HUD overlay. Congratulations you successfully set up the GStack Valorant HUD. Thank you so much for watching the video. For any kind of help join our Discord, the link has been given in the description. I'll show you the full gameplay video and the full process in the next video.